What others call a hardship or a curse, the Burton brothers call a blessing. There was something special about both of them from the very first time I got to hold them. I knew something was off as a mother. They were diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. As long as I can remember, I knew that I had a disease and that I was, wasn't supposed to live as long as everybody else. Having a perception of your own mortality at a young age could become your superpower. But last year, the Medford reggae band in Dubious, they were forced to watch lead singer Evan Burton fight a series of lung infections. He has an oxygen tank on stage, he's sneaking it. Above all, he wanted to give his gift, even though he was suffering greatly. The tour, we had to go to the hospital and they essentially wouldn't let him leave. But it was Evan that needed a double lung transplant to survive. Everything was just flattened, you know. In order for this miracle to happen, there was another family that was really suffering. It's one thing hearing that your child was shot, but it's another way you looking at him in a bed on life support. Miss Jackson, I ran a test on your son and I'm sorry, but your son is deceased, he's brain dead. You know, God just said it, you know, donate his organs. There's some things that you just can't deny. There's some things I think just being that close to your own demise opens your eyes to whatever God is. Yeah. You realize how precious every little second of life is. He just exploded after the transplant. It was like watching a kid in a candy store be able to have everything they want. It wasn't borrowed time anymore. The odd thing was is, you know, after the transplant, as he started to get well, my health started to deteriorate. You are breathing God and God is that can never see. Why is this happening to us? Why are these so many physical roadblocks between us and our success. They just have an absolute knowingness of who they are and where they come from. They give people words to deal with life. It's just amazing. There's so many indubious lyrics that you can live your life by. Like, I learned everything from them, and I still do. Our music is intended to be medicine. It's like you can speak a word for the intention of hurting someone or judging someone. You can also speak a word for the intention of helping someone. Their music has helped me find my purpose. I was like, these guys just, they, they seem to have this message that hits so, so deep. They just exude this positivity and confidence and, and just like this, this joy in them all the time. When can we open our eyes to see that we're not weak and we can be anything that we can see? How